What's going on guys, Orzi here, welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have the 90 overall Laporte moments card and he's actually looking pretty decent I and mean, you already know what chem style we have to use on him because 74 pace is clearly not going to be enough, especially in the end game. Now he has 91 defense, 86 physical, 72 dribbling and 73 passing as well. He's six foot two, which is the person I like to go to minimum is six foot two for a centre back. Medium, medium work rate. I don't think the work rates matter too much as, lo as long as it's not like high medium or high low in a centre back role. I doubt it's going to matter. The two star skill moves don't do skill moves with my centre back, but a three star weak foot is the minimum I like to go once again because I don't really trust in a two star that much. I don't really like switching the ball with a two star weak foot, but with a three star, it's not the end of the world. Now he is on a shadow chem style. He is on 10 chem, 85 acceleration and 86, no, sorry, 96 sprint speed with 85 acceleration. Now, pace wise, he's not the fastest of players and I don't believe he will be catching up to players like Adama Traore, Daniel James, or even probably like Kent or someone like that. So that could be an issue. Shooting wise, it doesn't look great at all. So I'm not going to really get into it. But what, I, um, what I'm here to see is that 66 vision. That tells me straight off he's not going to be able to do the old BBYs from one side of the pitch completely to the other. And make and probably like through ball the, through ball the striker in a way. Or even the wingers. And this the challenge, the objective to get this play is actually quite hard to be fair to you. It took me quite a while. And that is why I am uploading it on uh, the next day. Now, he's got 83 short passing with 82 long passing. So, I'm expecting him to switch the ball, like the little X ball, to the to like the wing backs uh, pretty, pretty well, to be fair to you. But when the short passing, the RBAs, it should work fairly easily. The 61 agility, the 62 balance is obviously one, another killer of this card, simply because it just means he's not going to feel great on the ball. Now, the reactions is something I do love to see with the composure. The ball control, though, 80 ball control, common now. That needs to be sorted as soon as possible because this pretty much means is if he gets an interception and the ball is not near him, the ball will pretty much bounce off the player, bounce off Laporte's foot, and most likely will go back to your opponent. And that is something you don't want to see. But the reactions, it, the reactions pretty much comes into play if a like a person RBAs the ball and it is about to go straight past Laporte, he will react fast enough to actually intercept it. The composure as well is very calm and composed. He's going to be shielding players fairly easily. No, he's got 99 interceptions, 99 defensive awareness, 97 standing tackle, and 99 sliding tackle. Defensive awareness, I feel like it's going to help a lot with interceptions simply because he's going to be at the right place at the right time. Standing tackle, I'm expecting this guy to go in very, very solid and pretty much come out with the ball while getting a play at the same time. Slide tackling, if we have the opportunity to do it, I'll give it a go. Why not at the end of the day? 81 jumping, 6 foot 2. I would go 6 foot 2 and below, he'll be out heading. I wouldn't say anything like 6 foot 3 or 6 foot 4. Now he's got uh, 81 stamina for a centre back, that's more than enough. The 18, uh, 89 strength, it's good, it really is. For meta players nowadays, for meta attackers, sorry, they don't have a lot of strength. There's Neymar, there's Ken, you got James. Yes, Adama Traore has got a bit of strength. But I feel like Laporte will be bodying uh, Adama. Now, he's got 82 aggression as well, which means he's not going to be one of those players that you're going to instantly rush out with. I'm going to try it to see and give it a go to see if he actually is. But with 82 aggression, I'm pretty sure he's not. Now, today I have linked him up with Amavi, Stegen, Rio, and Decore. I've also got like Bakayoku, Akadi, and Neymar in the team. It doesn't matter what formation I'll be using him in, as long as the forward the back, and it is, it's the 4-4-2. So let's get straight into these games. So the st first thing we do at the start of our reviews is just check how agile someone is on the ball. He doesn't feel too bad, to be fair to him. Can he do that little switch of play as well? Yes, he can. That's always nice to see. No turn there. Oh, that's a solid tackle as well. He just did enough to be fair to, like, he put the player under pressure and get the little touch to make the pass go a bit awkward. Track that run. Make sure they're not going through. That should be an easy tackle for him. He actually, like, he's pace-wise, he actually feels really, really fast to be fair to him. And it looks like he's going to be catching up to those, uh, you know, Adama Traores and stuff. Going for a solid standing tackle. That's not solid at all, I tell you what. I was expecting like a better standing tackle. I was expecting a follow through as well. But he kind of did one of those ones where he ran into the player. And it was just a lucky bounce to be fair to him. A little pressure. There you go. I love how Laporte was positioned just like right onto the guy. So he's got a little press game towards his name as well. While, you know, waiting for the perfect moment to go in and actually go for the tackle. 
Nice. Going for the tackle. There you go. Follow through as well. That's exactly what I wanted there. Rio was actually holding the guy off to make sure he doesn't go for the shot. While Laporte just came in and pretty much sweeped up the tackle. Win that header. Oh, he wasn't the most confident header. I can tell you that. Now, that could obviously come down to his jumping. It's not amazing. Yeah, he has the height. But the problem with just having the height is sometimes you don't get around the player if the person holds LT. And that is always, always going to be an issue for Laporte. Little chip to Laporte. Little touch. Ball roll. Go to the outside. Switch it. Do the drag back. Easy as. Yeah, he doesn't feel outstanding on the ball, but he doesn't feel too bad. He's not one of those, like, Sol Campbell kind of players where you cannot completely turn with him. But he is one of those players that you are going to be able to do the little ball rolls, the little drag backs time to time. Press that. He does a bad touch. There you go. Waiting for the perfect moment once again. Just waiting. That little ball roll that he did, he held RT straight after, which means you take a really, really bad touch at like an awkward angle. So all day of the week, the ball is going to get, you know, dispossessed pretty much. And the fact that Laporte had the, like the little positioning, the defensive awareness to come in and just take the ball is beautiful. Most likely it'll be a 1-2 there you go. What I actually did there was I pushed back Rio Ferdinand simply because I knew he was going to try to do a 1-2 there with his other striker. So I waited for the perfect moment to switch to Laporte, make Laporte read that passing lane and it was a beautiful tackle. Little switcher play. The vision is not great, but he is actually able to do it. And that is something I did not expect, especially with the vision being that low. I did not expect him to do those little overtop through balls from one side of the pitch completely to the other. There you go. What I actually did there was I focused a little bit, like I started talking about, I focused a little bit because I actually thought he was going to get through there a little bit. So I had the focus up, made sure that the passing lane was off, but at the same time that he didn't have enough time to like turn and try to skip past Rio Ferdinand. So all I had to do was keep Rio on him, put Laporte on... Can he get in again? There you go. Beautiful standing tackle waiting for the perfect moment. But yeah, what I had to do there was leave Rio where he was. Come over with Laporte. Make sure I'm kind of passing lane while I'm coming over. And it was just an easy tackle after that. No turn. Oh, that was a good press as well. Can he outstrength him? Nah, I'm not going to do that on Laporte. All day of the week. Richarlison, I believe it is the shapeshifter card as well. And Laporte is doing that against him. I absolutely love that Richarlison card. And <laughs> if that doesn't show Laporte is a top tier centre back, I don't really know what can. Laporte, there you go. Reading the passing lane another time. Just this guy is becoming a bit of readable. Like he always do does one twos. So all I have to do pretty much is read the passing lanes. It's probably going to be a pass towards Rooney and Laporte actually get, lets it go past him. And that is something I don't want to see there. He's done so well with the standing tackle. And I'm like starting to think that the ball control didn't actually matter. But it was one of those situations where I want him to come out of that ball. And I know he is, but he is stronger than Rooney. I know he can beat Rooney especially. And the fact that he lost the battle between Rooney, I don't know about that one. No turn, there you go. A good strong tackle. This time he actually put it in a good tackle. Not one of those ones where he goes 50-50 in. But he doesn't intercept that and we're most likely going to score out of that. And yeah, I, that, that's very lucky not to concede there to be fair. He's on that guy though straight away. And that's what I mean about the defensive awareness. Where Laporte, oh I can't get a ball out. Laporte has the ball. Just clear it out like that. That's perfect. All right, yeah. So basically, I love his defensive awareness there that he saw the player on, wide open on the edge of the box and he actually pushed, pushed out his position just to read the passing lane. So it is time to review him and let me say this card was actually really, really nice to be fair to him. He's a card that he puts in a slight strong tackle time to time and his physical stat is really, really good as well. Pace was really impressive. He wasn't like rapid like Team of the Year, Virgil or Parva or even if you're talking about Boateng because he's actually quite fast as well. Laporte's got this speed where he's quite average, but just above average. Not slow, but you know, one of those ones where he can run time to time, but it's that acceleration that definitely lets him down. Now, if we are talking about passing-wise, it was actually quite impressive, to be fair to you. He could pass with both feet with the freestyle weak foot, which I did expect, but it was one of those ones where he over the top the fruit, he, like he over the top down the like the wingers, it wasn't in, it was inconsistent. There was times where I would do it and it wouldn't get there, but there was another there was another time that he would do an outstanding pass. Now, 66 vision is not the end of the world. And that's what you have to understand. It's not one of those, you know, 30 or 40 vision kind of players. 66 means it's gonna probably work 50% of the time. And that's what exactly what it did. 
it didn't work consistent it was like i don't know it was one of those sticky situations and personally i don't like to do stuff that are 50 50 sometimes because if if they were, if you're playing a hard opponent then yeah do it but if you're playing an easy opponent i like to go for those you know little 100 percent 100 percent passes now short passing wise little rvas into the middle was perfect dribbling he didn't feel bad Okay, he didn't feel like a Sol Campbell or one of those kind of players. He felt pretty decentable. I would definitely not advise you guys to go on little runs with him or like doing twists and turns. Just keep it simple with him. Take the touch, pass away. Now, defensive stats, as I said, he didn't always do the strong standing tackle. But it was one of those ones that I would say 70% of the time he did. Now, interceptions, his defensive awareness did really help him with the interceptions simply because he went straight in front of the player and just went and just grabbed the ball instantly. And when like we gave the ball in a stupid position he would always go and man mark someone and that is something i do love about center backs stamina he did last throughout the whole 90 minutes strength he did actually body a few players which was i want to say quite impressive because it, it was down to happen let's all be fair it was a player he has 89 strength he's going to be able to body players aggression i felt like he was higher than 82 i felt like he was more into the 87 88 range because he's like his acceleration was actually pretty decent and how he was fighting back for the ball was always nice to see. Now the medium medium work rate wasn't an issue at all. The 6 foot 2 was also also nice because of that 6 foot 2 reach to intercept the ball. I'm going to have to give him a rating out of 10 and I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. I don't believe he's an outstanding uh, centre back. I don't believe he's up to the level of like Boateng, Apava, Virgil van Dijk, even Hummels is, is better than him. But he is a good he is a good centre back and he's free. That's the main bit. He is free. So if you don't actually like him, he's a free 90 rated. Just go put him in an SBC. But if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like, leave a comment, and for now, peace.